bottom here from the Tint Academy and come along with me as we strip and retint the window on this BMW. Now this BMW came in, had a ton of bubbles, ton of dirt, ton of contamination. They want this window redone from another shop. So first thing that we see here, there's a giant gap at the bottom. What was happening there was actually peeling up. So the customer went and cut it. So when they're rolling up and down their window, it wasn't gonna keep catch. So come with me as we go through the full process of stripping this window off, cleaning it and retinting it so it looks proper and professional. Now, a couple things you need for this video is a steamer. We suggest a Wagner um, steamer. You can see it from the pictures here. You get from Home Depot, Rona, Lowe's, about $75, $80. It's good money, good value for the money, and it works really well. So let's start off by stripping this window around the... So first thing here, we're actually gonna steam this window. We're just gonna use this Wagner steamer. I got it fired up already. So bring this window down slightly. And the biggest thing here is we don't wanna force it off the glass. I wanna actually warm this glue up to make sure. So we wanna let the steamer do the work. We don't wanna force <coughs> this tint off the window. Now use a little razor blade, take that corner here. And we're just gonna get it started. Now when I'm pulling this off the window, When I'm pulling this off the window, I don't want to pull it so I have that big, here, that big um, screech in there. I want to do it so the film is doing its own job. I'm just putting enough weight on it just to get it off the glass so not leaving any kind of revenue residue off the glass. So we're nice and slow. Again, I'm not putting any force pulling it off. I'm simply letting the steamer do its job. Now that I got this off the, off the window, we're gonna do what's called our inside prep. I got this off with minimal glue. We still wanna make sure that we don't have any glue left on. So we go to install, it's a perfectly clean installation. So we got the film off. Now we're gonna do what's called our inside prep. We wanna make sure all that glue is off and ready to go. All we're gonna use is a razor blade, squeegee, and our soapy water solution. So it rolls down, we start from the top. And I'm going to do a light spray. Now one note here, we never want to put a razor blade against a window without it being slit. That's when it's going to scratch and ruin the window. So I'm going to come across the top, down the side, come overlapping strokes, always pushing down, never pushing to the side. So I'm going to come down here. Once I get it all off, I'm going to spray it again and use my squeegee and we're just going to squeegee overlapping strokes making sure it's totally clean. Now, a lot of our glue is gonna be left in the sides here. So I wanna make sure that I take my Easy Reach microfiber towel, wrap it around, and then we're gonna to try to collect all that extra glue. That's it, you can see all that glue sitting on this towel, get a new spot, push down, and come across. Now, a lot of problems that tinters have is they go through these steps, they put on the window tint, and they still see a lot of glue left on the window. So a little quick check, and this is not, I'm going to spray the window and with my hands, I'm going to feel if there's any glue left. A lot of times on a clear window, your eyes will not be able to see any kind of glue left over. So I'm going to spray and with my hands, I'm going to feel if I have any chunks of glue left over. Then I can go back to my razor blade. Now my hand did touch the window, so we want to make sure we add a couple extra steps. I'm going to go back in, razor blade it, squeegee it, flush the sides. And roll this back up. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom. So I'm gonna spray, 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 flush, flush.
Now, a lot of times, um, glue will get stuck into there. If it's older, so this tin's been on for about two years, the customer said. So if you do have a lot of glue left here, I can take my knife, extend it, and then push all that extra slip solution down. Now, we did wipe it down, so now I'm going to wipe down all the exterior off. Now, this microfiber towel, we never want to touch it to the glass. A lot of mistakes that I see is that lint, dirt, and stuff gets trapped in here, and it transfers onto the glass. So once I do my spray squeegee, this never touches the glass at all. We're just going on the outside just to wipe down any kind of slip solution. Now we've done our inside prep, let's go on the outside, do our outside prep, cut the film, lay the film, and get ready to install it. So now we've done our inside prep with the seam, we removed the film. So now we're actually doing our outside prep. So outside prep, we spray film and we spray the window. Now with the blue scrub pad, we do have a video on this that you can never use a green, you always want to use a blue. So with our blue scrub pad, scrub out the entire window here. And then I want to squeegee it. Now with this step, you can do it a couple of times just to make sure that we're totally clean across this window. So once I do my outside prep and wipe down anything that can possibly touch the film, which includes the entire door panel. So now we're gonna layer of film. So I always wanna work with a very wet window. So I'm gonna spray this window down and spray down my entire door panel. On this car, we're gonna do a 5% ceramic film. So I like the ceramic, a little bit easier to work with with this brand. I'll take my film up against the glass, factory edge, factory edge. Now, if you're unsure of how to actually, um, how to actually determine where to lay the film, we did a video down below that explains how you wanna roll out the film. So next step here, I'm gonna spray my film and make four cuts. One, two, three, and four. So first thing I'm gonna do is do my anchor so it doesn't slide anywhere, and do my bottom cut first. Now, I'm not gonna go too much into detail with this right now because we do have videos down below that explain all the cutting steps here. Second step, boom, cut, cut, pull. Now that I've done this step here, I'm gonna lift up my film, spray underneath, and I shift it a quarter inch, remake my anchor. Now my large cut here, pull and pull. Once I do that cut, I'm gonna bring my film a quarter inch, or sorry, eighth of an inch back. So I have a little bit of overlap here, a little bit of overlap here, remake my anchor. Now it's time to do our fourth and final cut. So I'm gonna roll this window down and make our top cut. So bring this up, do three clicks down. One, two, three. Knife out, five clicks, come to the top. Pull and pull. So now we made our four cuts. We're gonna do our cleanup step. So cleanup step, we're gonna round out all those corners, make sure they look nice. And last thing, so we did our, all our cuts here. So next thing we're gonna do is our... Okay, so now we're ready to shrink the film. Shrink the film is prepping before we actually install it. So think about it this way. Film is, film is flat, glass is curved. If I take a stick and I put pressure on both sides of the stick, it's gonna bow that stick out. Fingering happens the same way. When glass, when film can't follow the curvature of the glass, it's gonna bow off, create these fingers. So we're gonna set this up. I wet the window underneath. I'm gonna go about half an inch over, two finger breaths below, and a finger breath here. Once I create that pattern on my large side, I'm gonna press down, come across the top, and press down. We're creating the letter N. This is gonna take all my excess film and bring it down this way. Now in this video, I'm not gonna go too deep into how to shrink. We have a video below of the proper steps to take to shrink. Now I'm gonna take my heat gun. Once I made that end, I don't want to travel outside the end. I always want to stick with inside the end. I'm going to start from my large side, coming the way across. Three to five seconds per area, pushing it down. Now in our course, we always recommend shrinking it twice. And spray the film down underneath and spray. That is just ensuring that nothing's gonna to happen to that actual 
fingering. So here, here, then I'm push down a little bit harder to get all that slip solution out. Now I'm coming across the bottom, just to double check to see if I'm getting any fingering coming out to the glass. Now we're ready to install the film. So before I install the film, I'm gonna clean it one more time with spray, squeegee, spray. We do a half peel method here, so I'm only half peel it, place on the glass, let's install. So now we did, we removed the film, cleaned it, outside prep, cut the film, shrunk the film, now ready to install. So right before we install this film, we wanna do one more clean. That cleans gonna be spray, squidgy spray. So spray down the window, clean it. Now make sure I'm gonna get those sides, push all that dirt coming down into the window. Now before I install this film, I wanna spray it. We want total coverage. Now I don't wanna to be too aggressive with my spray. I just want to go nice and we don't get all that dirt coming from the sides coming down to the film. I'm going to spray, spray. Now I'm going to spray my hands and I'm going to spray the air to make sure that nothing comes down into my window film. Now remember, we're doing a two-stage installation here. So when I peel my film, I'm only going to peel it halfway. So take my corner. As I peel that backing sheet off, I'm going to spray my film. So we have half of it exposed, half of it not exposed. So I have this still covered here, so I can touch this bottom line here. And bring it around. And I come, put my large corner in, slide it into place, pull my small corner, slide it into place. And then I'm gonna line up the top. So now on that top, I want about a sliver. Now, rules say we want about an eighth of an inch. I think that's still a bit too much. I want it to be a little bit of gap. So there's always gonna be a little bit of gap unless you shave or foul the top edge. So once I get it lined up, I'm gonna do a light squeegee just across the top. Now this is a very light squeegee just to get it tacked up onto the glass. Down here and here. Once I get that light squeegee down, I'm gonna spray my film and I'm going to do a harder squeegee side to side, making sure that it gets totally tacked into the glass. Now I'm gonna take my gold card, right where the film is bent, I'm gonna push it up and out, up and out. Now we're ready to roll that window film up. Stage one is done, next one is stage two. I'm gonna roll this window up and work on that stage two. So stage two, I'm gonna spray underneath. Now I don't wanna spray up, I wanna spray down in case there's any kind of contamination in there left there. Slowly pull that liner off and I'm gonna spray underneath it. Now this is a little bit of a tricky part here. So see where this is bent off the glass. I'm gonna pull it up to where it's bent, taking my easy reach, pulling that seal back and letting it slide right into place. So here, letting it slide straight down. Okay. And then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna reinforce that side. So now same thing here, I'm gonna pull it up Pass where it's bent, flat on the glass, pulling that seal up, and then sliding into place here. Then I'm going to get the rest of it tucked in to that side. Now that I got the side, I'm going to reinforce that side. So now you look here, I made that end. So my squeegee pattern there is going to be straight down. I'm going to push this all down. Across here, a little bit of a bubble there. So I'm going very light just to get it tacked into place. Now I went light, I'm gonna spray it off one more time. Hard across the top, hard across the top, down to the side. And now I'm gonna go hard. So I don't want overlapping strokes to make sure we get all the rest of that slip solution out of this card. Then I'm gonna push down, push down. Now we may get a couple fingers and stuff like that popping up, which is okay. I'm gonna leave it, let it dry, come back to it. So now let's take a look at how our window turned out. So I'm gonna spray it. Then we're gonna squeegee it. 
looks perfect. Now remember, when you're doing a tint removal and retint, you wanna take your time, charge appropriately. Now this is not part of your normal fee. You're looking at between 30 and $50 to remove, then your additional installation fee. Always double check all the glue came off, clean multiple times, be very, very accurate with your installations. Now, we went through all stuff. That was just beginning to end. We didn't talk a lot about detail. If you're looking more detail, you're stuck on shrinking, you're stuck on cutting, you're stuck on actually installing, I put all the links in the videos down below where you can actually look and break down exactly what we did here. I hope that helped you guys out from start to finish on how to remove film and reinstall it. Any questions, my email's down below. Shoot us an email or comment in the section. Link with the Russians, six figure discussions, dinners in public, my linen all tailored, my outstanding payments, swift like Taylor, and boy I owe them man a beer and it's cool, but you can't hear like a bad line, it's been 15 minutes since... Hi, my name is Alan Parker, I just finished taking the best tint class there could possibly be, uh, here with the guys from Tint Academy, thank you, the training facility was phenomenal, it, it made the class a lot easier because we had state-of-the-art equipment and things of that nature. Our, our teacher was phenomenal. And what can I say? Now I feel like I'm able to go out and do a truly professional job and give customers what they need and what they want. Thank you, Ten Academy, for taking the time to show me how to become a better tenor. Hey, name is Jonathan. Just did the Tent Academy 2 day course here at Oakville. Adam's great, learned a lot. I'm ready to make some money, ready to tint your car. Give me a call. Hey guys, this is Eric, Anchor to Love Detailing out of Atlanta, Georgia. Just took the Tint Academy course, great course. Adam and Mike helped us learn the skills needed to uh, get your vehicles tinted, offer this service. Um, that's why I took it, basically, because I want to offer this service for customers. I've already been having customers contact me, so it's, it's a blessing to do this uh, course. Come down to Orlando, come down to wherever they offer, because you won't be, uh, you won't be upset. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick.